Recently, I had to record a podcast, and unfortunately, it was on two separate devices. So I have two audio files here, one at 44.1 kilohertz and one at 48 kilohertz, and they're on two separate sample rates because I forgot to check the sample rates one before it recorded. So I've zoomed in here on Adobe Audition. They're both in here, and I linked, I synced them up here at the beginning so you can hear what it should sound like. 25 of oh it's oh with Schwan <laughs> and sean so that's what it's supposed to sound like if they were in the same sample rates all the way through but unfortunately because they are two separate sample rates here's what it sounds like at 18 minutes he goes but he that won't doesn't not do it that doesn't Same look like social problem. distancing and here we go. We'll just go. I got a couple examples for you. We'll go 31 minutes. All right. All right. So, John, so, John, so, Johnny. So, Johnny. Who loves Scrat Susie? He, he loves, loves her because, because he cares, cares about her. So, you can. I just bumped up the volume here so you can just hear the difference. And we'll go near the end here. And you can really hear it uh, veering off. Don't laugh, Don't laugh at, me. at me. I got a speed on. on. So the bottom one here was the one that was recorded at a little slower rate. And it was recorded on a shotgun microphone in a small room. So if it sounds a little funny, that's part of the reason why. So to fix this, there's a couple options for you. Uh, right off the bat, you would think, okay, so I can just re-record everything, which isn't uh, <laughs> the preferable way to do it because there's a lot of time involved in just recording. Like this is an hour, so you would need an hour from each person and set everything up and re-record. You don't want to do all that work. Or you can go through, and this takes a long time too, every few minutes you would have to cut the slower uh, t uh, wavelength, wave file, and just bump it in just a little bit. Because every couple minutes it's going to start to echo because it's not in sync anymore. And that just takes a long time. So. Uh, to stop from doing all of this uh, tedious work or just uh, busy work, you can just go ahead and go to clip, go to stretch, and enable global clip stretching. So I just turn it off just now just so I can show you what, ha what it does. In here, you go in and right here, right next to the fade out uh, button, go to clip, stretch, enable global clip stretching. And these little flags pop up and when you hover over the flags you'll get a little air arrows and little arrow double arrow sorry and a time thing for the stretch and what that allows you to do is it you can move it back and forth and it moves it ever so slightly you don't have to worry about pitch as long as you're not moving it by a lot but even here at 56 seconds it only needs to be moved just a little bit so what you need to do is zoom in again find a good spot and get to about where you think, like that looks okay. So let's see how it sounds. Wrote that oh, idea. Uh, so you can hear just a slight echo in there, uh, but that might be because it's uh, the shotgun microphone. Let's try it one more time. Oh, idea. Okay, so that sounds all right, and for a super quick fix. So we'll just go back to one of these other spots here. It's 31 minutes, so you can hear what it sounds like. Alright, so John, so Johnny, who loves Fat Susie, he loves her because he cares about her. So you can really hear the difference. But he that will not do it. That doesn't Same look like social distancing. Will not show up. So if you've recorded at two separate sample rates, the two most common sample rates are 44,100 hertz and 48,000 hertz. You can just go to clip, stretch, enable global clip stretching, and that will pop up the little flag, and you can stretch uh, the whole thing at your good heart's will. And it, as you heard, it didn't really, it didn't, I mean, unless you got super ears, you're not really gonna notice the difference. So appreciate you uh, help or watching this video today. Hope it helped you get your audio syncing done more efficiently and easily. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I will post videos up like this whenever I encounter some problems that I had to find a quick fix for or just any problems at all. Uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share. And if you have any comments or questions, just leave them in the comments below. Thank you.